has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. And... Uh... Bye, guys. Uh, we're back. I guess this would be episode one, I guess. I can't imagine doing more than one of these, like, point one episodes, because it really doesn't matter. I've already got to 21, I iron out some issues or whatever, so I'm just gonna start the game from scratch. Got all the DLC going. I don't care, game. Crank it up to Blood Moon, call this Darkest. Longest, darkest, longest, darkest dungeon. And they're going to enable a very small amount of mods. Like your time, resource mod, and extra long button pops. You know, just in case I wanted to use a controller. For ease of access, I guess. I actually forgot what the intro cutscene is. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. Oh, wonderful. Tell me that. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Yeah, your redemption? I thought you died. And he's just talking to you like post haste, I guess. He's talking like from the grave. It's a really great narrator. I wonder he made all those script lines. Because it's so good. It's like it's almost made for that person, whose name I have no idea. Like it's supposed to be some famous voice actor or actor of some sort. I have no idea who he is. I hope to copy his uh, the way he speaks by the end of this game. You know, it sounds a bit like Patrick Stewart mixed with a little bit Sean Connery whenever I do it. Because I like those two characters. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the loading times of this game is really, really long. 
And it's going to sit here for about a minute where I'm just going to ad lib the entire time. Um, I really hope all my stuff fits in. There's a pretty, I'd say about a 20% chance that this campaign's going to, like, blow up. Like, it's going to, like, be corrupted, like, about halfway through. I really hope it's not going to happen, but if something does pop up that's not intended, I'm, I'm going to have to mess around with it in between episodes, but... You know, that's just what you do when you modify a game to this extent. Nope. Alright, did you load in properly? Hello, Reynolds. Good old buddy. God fearing. No kleptomaniac, because I find that's such a pain in the ass to use. Everything seems to be in altar. What about you, Dismas? Got four abilities. Alright. Coolio. Moving on. Brigands have run up these lanes. Yeah, Keep to I know. The side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Really? A surprise on the first Dispatch encounter. This thug Fine. in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Oh yeah, we're gonna do this then. Okay. Not you. Really? 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 Lame. Their okay. formation is Let's broken. Play. Maintain the offensive. Just a little bit. Okay, skip this, because this almost always gets you 100... It just fails you 100% of the time, and then you get like 100 stress. Which I don't really want to test the whole 70-30 thing. Ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their Beam. kind is no longer welcome. So I can either go all out and do this, which will give me a mark, which will basically mark myself for the entire thing we need to dodge, or I can go for straight damage. There we go. Alright, that's wonderful. Totally didn't dodge it. That's what I was looking for. Give you some darts, hopefully. You. The battle isn't supposed to be that difficult, but it can be. I've had encounters where I've lost Dismos in the first battle because I would take a risky chance of using Duel's Advance to use Point Blank Shot and he would get critted by his Point Blank Shot and then that would be it. He has a negative one speed, he went before he did. Alright, that's fair I guess. He has a good chance to use... Did I kill him? Oh, one hit point away. The victory. Yeah, that was probably the smart thing to do. Probably should stun, try to stun him. You know to waste all of my time. Trying to get rid of the stupid force of this guy shoots us all to death. Fuck Pew. Confusion. Nerves. Alright. That on you. Two damage to you, and then. So that's it. Got another extra dodge. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. No. Are you exploring? Open this up, get some awesome good trinkets. There we go. I don't know how long each episode's going to be. Um okay, cool. I got a bonus plus to a negative. Pause a quirk versus a negative quirk. Now I don't really know how many long episodes each episode is going to be. Welcome home, such as it is. Be long. Like this maybe hamlet, these thirty minutes or so, lands. maybe an hour. They are yours now, That's and well you are bound great. to them. Wrong with them. All right. Fresh cable two, cards, extra plague and curtain Great rooms armor. promise solace to the weary and broken alike. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, Free fools for and corpses. I'll show you in a second. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. So, 
Renault is what you would call a level Make one no sim unit. We will face and ever greater threats. Oh God, mate, Our can you stop talking for like five seconds? You done? The bellows blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Oh. That's right, he does that because all the buildings are unlocked at the same time. Except for this one. So there, he's just saying all, like, the intros to all the buildings all at the same time. So, Reynold is what you would call a semi-unique level one. Level one being that he is... Well, level one, but that's because the quest gave him that, oh, that to experience. Um, in which case, when you're when you're level one sim unique, you start off with your first level of ability. And obviously, there are let's see. In my game, there are sixty classes total. Does that look like a lot? It is absolutely a lot. There are so many classes in my game, I can't even begin to describe how different they are. They're not all unique, mind you, but some of them are. So, Reynolds is what is called a semi-unique. Semi-uniques and uniques don't spawn in the stagecoach. They spawn through town events over the course of time. But that's it. They only spawn through town events. And they spawn every once in a while, like every five weeks or so. So, you get them semi-regularly. Uniques, however, which I'll get a few of those, maybe. Um, those have a very small chance of spawning, and on top of that, they only spawn once. So when you get them, that's it. If they happen to die for any particular reason, you don't get another one. So, because of that, some uniques have seven abilities, whereas common units, which are basically all of the classes that are spawned from the stagecoach, they all have four abilities, and only four abilities. I'm debating on whether or not to give them more as they level up to level four, with this whole interesting mechanic that I more or less programmed into. Um, so each of the common classes have only four abilities, there's about 15 of them. And I know the Crusader, the Leper, and the Jester are semi-uniques, so I replaced those three with the Druid, the Pit Fighter, and the Butcher. Okay, so let's see. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Okay, so... Your work begins. The reason why there are more quests than normal, normally you only have this quest to do. You'd have to do this one quest. And I didn't like that mechanic, because this quest is dumb. Mainly because each of these um, quests are actually really hard to do, and actually chances are I won't be able to do them. Um, only because they're really difficult. I, mean, I might be able to do it with two level ones, maybe, but 6,000 gold? Mm, that's debatable. Oh, also, I changed the trinkets so that some of them are, as you can see, are very small, because that uses the inventory expansion mod. And the main reason why is because I, don't, I didn't really touch the trinkets all that much. I did actually touch the trinkets a little bit, because I feel like I have to, because I can do this. So there's each character. But chances are it's only the semi uniques you're gonna have to do this with, and the uniques can hold um, trinkets. But yeah, like I said, you're only willing to ever do that if you were to deal with the semi uniques and uniques. As for me. So, this quest is actually very important. I haven't really tested it, but I'm pretty sure it works. When you do this quest, that means that the farmstead, which is Color of Madness DLC, and the courtyard, which is the Crimson Court DLC, those will now unlock after this quest is done. But as long as you don't do this quest, you could basically play the game normally as if nothing's different. Now, the courtyard and the Crimson Court was such a pain in the ass to deal with. I can't tell you how annoying it was to go through all the files and find out what I liked about Crimson Court, what I didn't like about Crimson Court and do my changes to it. But... Yeah, um... I guess I should probably throw myself into a dungeon, shouldn't I? Before I do that... This... Yeah. Better for him to have that than to not have it at all. Um... I should do this, and... 
that way because these two are gonna get undead. He's gonna get undead. He's gonna get. <laughs> Cost of preparedness measured now in gold. Okay, Later, the reason why I'm using this many stuff is because the dungeon's length is increased by 1.5, so you need to use a lot more resources to traverse the dungeons. So you're gonna be really, really because about this is about the normal amount. A stack and a half on both sides. That's about the normal amount. If you do you could do a little more for, for comfort and for security, but anything less, you'll run out relatively quickly. Two of those. I think we're one of these. Yes. I think anyone does do, do poison. I think it's just these items. Lundaire, in case I run into a stupid madman, because it's such a pain in the ass to deal with. Okay, let's go through our corner cut first dungeon. Hopefully, it won't be too awful. I mean, I have two. I have a sim unique. And a common who are both level one, but Dismas isn't leveled up to level one all the way. He only has his equipment. The fiends must be driven back, and what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? As you can see, the dungeon is f much bigger than the normal dungeons are, and because the Jester is absolutely not a common unit, having stressed healing is not as a prevalent. Oh, that's what that does. I knew you had to do. I knew that its interaction was a torch. I just forgot what it actually did. Okay, should have done that on Dismar or uh, on Reynold, but oh well. So there is no stress healing. There's really rarely ever stress healing. The only difference I did was this gives you a little bit of stress healing, and this gives you a little bit, but not enough. Not enough to like stop the absolutely overwhelming amount of stress you begin to these dungeons. Okay, that's fine. Mechanical hazards trap. possessed by evil intent. Damn it. Alright, that's good. The point of this quest is to do all the room battles, which means I can get them all done really really quickly. Or not. And if I don't do it really quickly, the I'll run out of the first food test. and torches. Now it must be carried home. Yeah. Narrator. Alright, he's a surprise. Wonderful. I'm gonna poison you. Did you suck? Stun you. Well, seeing as how you really can't do anything. Three damage across the board. Um. Cheers, mate. Line for some good old damage. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. I'm debating on whether or not I should do six damage. I don't know. I I, I felt like any single target uh, debuff or single target doff like his attack would do two damage because it's a single target, but the multi-target ones would do one one damage, one to three damage. So the plague doctor has a has a grenade. That he tosses the, to, to the two front rows, and they do one, what they do three damage over the course of three turns, or one damage every turn for three turns, for both of them. But you could do a single target like poison dots, and you do two damage because it's only a single target. And I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. I guess only time will tell. That was a really, really good hit. It's too bad you don't get your crit bonuses for doing crit heals. Confidence that would really surges great. as the enemy crumbles. Crit, crit, nope. Yeah, alright, cool. Take that. 
lunge to do a bunch of damage or poison again. Do you want to take it? Steps. Alright, that's good for camping, which is totally not going to apply here in any way. Moving on. Nothing! Well, in that case, we're going this way then. No need to have an unnecessary battle for no reason. Sure, you get extra loot or whatever, but you can't get any experience for it. So it's absolutely pointless. Besides, you're, we're not in here for loot. In here to live long enough to get our one measly experience. Oh, our one measly experience to level up to level one. it is then. What is it? Oh. One of these. Get some, hand. Get some awesome valuable health stone. Give that to Dismas. He's pretty quick and he needs extra health. And humans. Not good. Well, sort of good. It just now occurs to me that, uh, It occurs to me that her little poison ability only really applies to everybody. Unless you have poison resistance, in which case it doesn't apply to you. Oh, I might have to change that. Them all. I don't know how long use a modding tier 3 mod to do it. I might have to lower it down to 3 damage after all. There's really no reason not to do it. I mean, she could do this, that there's a bunch of damage, or 50% bonus damage to human, this is a 50% bonus damage to blighted. Mm, it's not that good. Oh, okay, ooh, hold on. A devastating Critical. Blow. He's dead. So, so you hopefully. Okay, cool, yeah. Man, Ronald, do you want to go at any time today? Alright, awesome. Whack you in the face. Their formation oh my is broken. God, two criticals Maintain in a row. Offensive. Jeez Louise, calm down, game. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. What was the on that? Ten. It's a ten percent chance of critical, with that's a fifteen percent. Shouldn't be that high. Even if the game is only lying to me that's a fifteen percent, I only really be thirty of it was double. Which shouldn't be that much at all. The fifteen percent chance makes it sound like it's like a forty percent chance or something. Of course, you're gonna talk on a stupid vessel and get her to get. 
Wow, we're really going after that one class, that one character. What an ass. Oh, there's our first critical. Any bandages with me? Wow, two criticals in a row. Reynolds, you're probably gonna die. And that's what it'd do for this campaign run, would it? You in the face. She's almost there. And you're dead. So that's cool. Move you up right up a little bit. Two. Yeah, I know, Reynold. You can heal yourself, but that's not gonna stop them from killing you. Up is the cultist. A death by inches. Really? Well, it's not by inches. Fall from it. All right, I miss miss. Wonderful. The Critical. Pumps. The limbs obey. Are you kidding me? Every single time she's attacked with that, she's critted. I'm actually going to do it again just to, just to spite the game. I'm curious if she's crit again. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Cool. Thank God she could actually not crit. A trifling victory. But a victory Nothing. nonetheless. Okay, never to go that way. I forget what this one does. I think it gives you damage. In which case, I'm going to give it to Reynolds. And it absolutely is damage. Goblin guy. Waits for the slightest lapse All in right. concentration. 
our first affliction. It's a hopeless. Which, for those of you in the audience who don't know, means you are really crap. Thank God that, um, you know, an affliction, you can't, if you ever heal yourself, you can't, like, sometimes you heal a fl afflicted person, I'm like, no, bulls to you, I don't want to get healed, I want to get dealt damage to you, I want to die. Compassion is a rarity. But if you try to heal yourself, it doesn't matter. They will never fuck against it. Okay, I know that they're uh, mocked at all, but you can calm down a little. Target Reynolds. Yeah, I know Reynolds. I'm trying to heal you as best I can, mate, but I can only do so much. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Open it. In case it's like trapped in any way. Alright, so we have one more battle to do, hopefully. Hopefully. Is this the right corridor? Uh, really? Of all the people Mind you gave, you can hit. Missteps are the you can hit Reynold. Can you hit anyone else with that trap? Like Dismar or someone? Also wasn't as much as I'd like it to be. Well, take it. Such Ooh. a terrible assault Ooh, be a Huge hit. Uh oh. mission that I could actually complete. A momentary you. abatement. You're gonna kill him. Or not kill him. That was probably the lowest amount of damage you could possibly do to him. Only one more than that and you could have killed him and this would not be an issue. But no! Is lit. So we only have three characters. Clear. One of them is a fucking nice to heal. Require only the strength to follow it. That was such a great heal, mate. Crit. Well, how quickly the tide God turns. Damn it. I'm about to get out of this mission, aren't I? Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Great, awesome. Minimum damage. Great. Still doing minimum damage. Like you have a whole like five damage range here, and you go for the minimum. Awesome. So happy you got the dodge. 
this would be so much more difficult if he wasn't dodging a lot. Yeah? Well, at least you're healing yourself, mate. What are you doing? Oh, okay. That, that's great. That doesn't, that doesn't work for us, you know. I'll let you do it because that means Reynolds could do his one ability that he never uses. Ever. He never, ever uses it. This one. Masterfully executed. You done? These oh, we're done. Can be felled. Oh. They can be beaten. Oh, shit's about to run out of torches. reward for a task well performed. I only lost one. That's nice. More bones return to rest. Devils remanded to their abyss. Level up. Unholy Slayer. Wow, that's actually really nice. And that's absolutely useless. In almost every way possible. Alright, game, what are you gonna uh, produce me today? There will be no <laughs> sleep tonight. The wild shot. Uh, I get him already? Alright, I get my first unique unit, and it's the Lord class. Okay, this is the Lord class. Um. He's actually very he's actually very fun. He's basically not a fighter, he's a support class. So he has um he's, he has potential bleed, he has a single target heal, he has a double target uh, stun, and then he has this sort of damage thing that does a debuff. But his real kicker is these two. This one buffs the entire party with a uh, speed, and this one buffs the entire party with accuracy and crit. And if he gets in trouble, you can always do a go back one and ask an ally to guard him, while also giving them a protection bonus. So because he's unique, he gets... All this for free, because he's level one, otherwise he'd be kind of pointless. Um, he gets bonus stats, he has bonus dodge innately. And he also gets bonus protection innately, and he also has a bonus. Now, this all just means that he has a really, really low chance of dying. But that doesn't mean he can't solo dungeons. It just means that, you know, ha let's say you throw him into a party of a bunch of adventurers, right? What if, the, all, what if all three of them die? Well, he's done. Well, it doesn't mean he can actually get out in time. Hi there, Druid. Oculus, another highwayman, wonderful. Elusive. Evasive. That's a lot. Assistant. A lot of, traits um, for a rogue. Healers. So a druid is, as you expect, a druid. Like, literally, not figuratively, from World of Warcraft. Because it has a uh, heal over time, and then a mass heal over time. And there's this thing that basically does blight and bleed. And then he has a tangle that basically stuns them and mocks them. For people who need to can synergize with that. Okay, guys, I think that's all I'm going to do today. I don't really know how long I've been going for. Also, I forgot to mention there's also much more missions to choose from. So as I do more missions, and I'm sorry that you can't actually see the number like this that you can with the courtyard. I don't know. It's some sort of bug or some sort of mod conflict or something. I have no idea what the cause of it is. But, I can tell you that it doesn't really change the game that much, it just means you can't see the uh, dungeon progression. But it does happen. It's just you just can't see it. Okay, so I guess that's all I'm going to do today. Because I'm just gonna... Because now that I have a level 0, I really don't want him to die. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna call you... R-O-B-I-N. Robin. As in Robin from Fire Emblem, the tactician. Okay. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Um, I guess I should go through the classes. So, the Oculus is a wild healer. He can heal you anywhere between 1 and 13, but he also can fail his heal and give you a bl uh, bleed dot. He has a, uh, a debuff that gives you minus um, 30 damage, 
And then he has a, a typical damage thing. And then he also has a debuff that mocks. So he's very, he's very, he's very much a synergistic unit that benefits from synergizing. So like he's good with um, characters like him who can get a bonus damage to mocked, for example. The Plague Doctor, as I said, has a, has a Plague Grenade. He also has an Incision, which is a single target bleed damage. He can also cure Blight and Bleed and cure Blight and Bleed on himself. And then he has a Disorient, which is a stun and it clears and it kills corpses. Really handy for um, the Color of Madness DLC. Um, that's it. That's all the classes that I have right now. I might, I'll absolutely get more as the game progresses, but as of right now, that's it. Okay, so that's it for today. Stall dash. Probably upgrade this further. I don't know. I, I might. I also, just for a fun note, I also incre dramatically increased yeah, the cost for upgrading. Because the since the dungeon is a lot longer, the chance of you getting more heirlooms also goes up by a lot. But I don't know how much you actually need, so I just sort of kept it as this. It seems pretty nice. Um... Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. Also, fun fact for this little overhaul. Um, I guess I never called what it's called. It's called Longest Darkest Dungeon because it's, it's very long and it's darkest and it's dungeony. Um, there's a bug that I have in this. I don't know why, but where is it? There it is. This thing pops up. I don't know what it is or where it comes from. Mind you, I have 44 class mods installed, so it could be from one of these. <sighs> but I have no idea what it is. It says 25 damage if in mode beast mode, so I'm guessing it's probably one of the um, transforming uh, classes that I have besides the Abomination. But... Also, interestingly enough, I have other mo other class mods that have Color of Bandits DLC, but for some arbitrary reason, I don't know why, but they don't show up in the game at all. I went into the I uh, went into their uh, files and changed the limit to one because when you have a semi-unique like Reynold, he only spawns every once in a while. The last thing you really want going through a dungeon is a trinket for a Crusader, because you're only really gonna get two of them in the entire game, and you don't need like three other trinkets. So I thought I'd put a limit on them. But ever since I put a limit on their trinkets, I haven't been seeing any of them spawn at all, except for the ones for the common classes. So I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay. Okay, see you. See you, bye.